Alright, I'm gonna head to the guy and sell some stuff off, then leave this place. I think he was straight in front of here. Looking for a way into the Maxon might appear compassionate, but I can assure you, the Institute will face his wrath. What brings you to me today? Have anything unusual? I have some special mods I've been working on. Sort of a hobby I have to pass the time. Real high-powered stuff. Slap a few of them onto your weapons, and I am pretty sure they'll put a smile on your face. Set me up. All of my weapons are mission ready. <laughs> I think that helmet right there is one of those the Enclave used in the first games. Uh, the Enclave was a supposed government. Don't know if. Well, they probably heard from them, but their viewpoints may be, have been twisted. True. From a certain point of view. It's a matter of perspective, I guess. Now it's a good time to sell stuff that I don't need. May want to test this out. I'm gonna keep it for now. Tegan, I need ammo. It uses cell ammo. Well, what the hell is a cell ammo? I'll take these because they are very good. Shotgun cells. Fusion's cores are good, but I am, I'm good with them, so... This is good for minigun, but I don't have it with me, so I'll skip that. Could always be good. Could always be good. Could always be good. <laughs> Those cannonballs. Let's get cannonballs. I think fusion cell is the one for blaster. Let's go all in here. We need ammo. Not too sure what I can sell. Huh. <laughs> this is insane. <laughs> no, no, I don't want to concentrate in progress. Oh, what? What? No. I've bought too much, it seems. Uh, I got to fix this. Before I start this mission, I think I want my minigun for this mission, so... I'll go home and grab it a bit fast. BRB. Oh, when I've to come to think of it, I hope they don't mind I... I just put my power armor in, in their corridors like this. <laughs> yeah, imagine someone coming out for, uh, down the ladder and like, ah, who put this here? I got to go around it. You never know who, if someone is in it, I guess. Pl could you please move around? Station keeping maintained. Outstanding work at Fort Strong, soldier. What happens at Fort Strong now? Paladin Dance is supervising the transfer of the Fat Man warheads to the Prudwin. They'll provide quite an edge to our arsenal. I've also ordered a detachment to occupy the location, and use it as a staging area to protect the eastern side of the airport. All in all, you handed us quite a valuable location. It was an honor fighting for the Brotherhood. I'm glad you feel that way, because our mission here has only just begun. In order to bring the Institute to its knees, we need to use every weapon at our disposal. I try to supply my soldiers with the best. That's why I'm giving you these. Signal grenades can call a vertebrate to your location when you need aerial transport. Simply throw one to the ground, and the vertebrate will hone in on the unique electromagnetic smoke it emits. Once you're aboard, use the map on your pit boy to interface with the pilot's navigation system, so he'll be able to take you wherever you need. Thank you, Elder. I'll make good use of them. I expect that you will. Now, I'm sure you're aware that Fort Strong was simply the first step towards the liberation of the Commonwealth. 
An even greater task lies ahead. By now, I'm sure you've deduced that our arrival in the Commonwealth wasn't coincidental. We're here because of a unique energy reading recorded by Paladin Dance's recon team, according to our scribes. The reading indicated a level of technology that only the Institute could achieve. The moment this information came to light, our mission became clear. The Institute, and everyone responsible for the creation of the synths, must be eliminated at all costs. To accomplish this goal, we need to locate the Institute's headquarters. I've had our scribes meticulously searching the Commonwealth, but they've come up empty-handed. The only logical explanation is that they've gone underground. That's where we need your help. I believe there's a bit more to the story than you're telling me. But based on your actions so far, I'm willing to take you at your word. Now, indulge me for a moment by satisfying my curiosity. Tell me why you're so eager to get into the Institute. They killed my wife. The Institute will stop at nothing to further their own ends. Together, we'll make them pay for their crimes. I'll call ahead and brief Proctor Ingram. Report to the airport and get to work on your project right away. I think I want to keep my son a secret as long as possible because, well, it's good to be honest, but I don't know. Take one thing at a time. Oh, my list of maintenance fixes keeps getting longer and longer. What, what was the mission? I don't think I got a mission actually. Remain patient, Knight. We're pouring every resource we have into the signal interceptor. Control systems all reporting. Elder Maxon. I'm too busy to speak right now. Okay. I'm just waiting. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I guess I'll just leave this power armor over here and head for this Proctor guy. Guard my armor, soldier. Oh. I wouldn't give for some new tools. I get a pretty beat up. I was about to say that Paladin Dance couldn't be supervising that stuff because he was following me, but it appears so that he doesn't anymore. Elder Maxon said you'd help me build the signal interceptor. So, looks like you're calling the shots around here now, huh? Alright, I'll bite. What does your new miracle device do? The Institute uses teleportation to get in and out. This machine can hijack their signal and send me instead. Teleportation? Molecular transmission via encrypted RF waves? Okay, even I have to admit, that's genius. This explains why we've been picking up anomalous energy readings all across the Commonwealth. Not to mention how they get their tin soldiers to come out of the damn walls. And this little beauty allows you to literally hijack a return signal. Instead of grabbing the intended target, it grabs you instead. Impressive. That all sounds impressive, but can you build it? If I can keep that flying pile of junk in the air, I can work miracles. It's difficult to make out all the details here, but I'm thinking you can get started by building a stabilized reflector platform. It's gonna take a cargo hold full of high-grade metal, but... I'm sure that we have plenty of it right here at the airport. Just tell me what we need so I can get started. Sorry that I'm boring you. Here's a list of everything you need to find. You're also going to need a massive power source to get the signal interceptor running. Damn it! 
I hate crafting. Uh, 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 open the door. Is there some other entrance, perhaps? You're an inspiration to us all, man. Oh, here. Uh, I'm guessing this is what I should build. Where would one of these fit? I'm guessing it wants space. A bit of protection would not be so bad. Um, I'm guessing here then. Uh, enter. Ha! Work complete! Uh, if I could exit. Any luck building the platform yet? Yep. Yes. I'm ready to build the rest of it. Good. Let's move on then. Here's a list of everything we'll need. Now, I know some of that might as well be in Greek, so I'll be around if you have any questions. Oh my god. I'm guessing I'm gonna need a lot of stuff. Can you explain how this thing is actually gonna work? According to Virgil's notes, it takes four components to complete the signal interceptor. First, we need a control console to input the code sequence and process the signal. That's the easy part. Second, we have the relay dish. That's for the interceptor part of the name. It scans and grabs the proper frequency we need. Third, and the most complex, is the molecular beam emitter. This is the actual component that translates your matter into energy for transmission. You've already built the stabilized reflector platform which concentrates and reflects the molecular beam. Oh, one last thing before I forget. It's important that all the components are wired together so all the pieces are on a single grid. Otherwise, this isn't going to work. If you need any help, I'll be over at the build site making some adjustments and calculations. I'd wish you good luck, Knight, but I think we're both going to need it. <sighs> Let's hope most of the ingredients are here. Otherwise, I'll have to go around and scavenge a lot. Think this would Maybe be constantly trying to kill us, but the Commonwealth never lacks for excitement. Hey, Piper. Heading my way? Sure, let's go. Will do. Let's see here. Th th wait, this is the wrong place. Uh, are you gonna come with me? Hey. Where to? Never mind them. She'll come. She's just resting with her coffee, I guess. <laughs> Up! Stop drink! Back to work! <laughs> I'm occupied at the moment. We'll speak later. Uh, okay. <laughs> he 
he doesn't seem to occupy. I mean, he just sits around and looks out the window. <laughs> I'm occupied. Don't distract me. <laughs> but maybe he does some heavy thinking. Thank <laughs> you. 
Hey, I haven't seen you before. If you need a doctor, let's get you examined. Actually, I need some supplies for the road. All right, but go easy on the chems. Is that a pit boy? I haven't seen one of those in forever. Hi. Hey, no offense, but you ain't caravan folk. Beat it. I'm half tempted to join the railroad. Hey, oh, this shit. you. Talk some sense into my numbskull son. Getting involved with the railroad is just trouble. Hey, this is between the two of you. We got a good life here, and you'd throw it all away. All I do here is help crusty old caravan hands, no offense, go blind off rock gut. At least the railroad's fighting the Institute. And why not save sins? Might as well go off and join the Death Claw Preservation Society. Getting some service here. Where are my manners? If you want a drink, talk to me. Need a bed? Well, hit up Numbskull over there. Excuse me. Got every liquor from the Commonwealth here. Benefit of being the caravan trader's favorite bar. Sure. Let's take a look. You got the caps. I got the booze. No offense, but you ain't caravan. Beat it. You ever see one of our caravans on the road? Excuse me. Nice with that. So what's your story? Every time. Looking to trade? Rob me? Or just ask directions to Diamond City? Just looking for love, sweetheart. <laughs> Boy, have you come to the wrong place. My loving days have long since passed. But I'll tell you what, wise ass. You made an old girl smile, and that ain't easy. You wanna do some trading? I'll give you a discount. I've got a few minutes to browse. I got a little bit of everything. Hmm, discount. That sounds nice. Let's hope she got what I need. Wait. Mm hmm, ceramic bowl. It might just be what I need. Because I think this is it. Yeah, I was thinking about buying something called ceramic, but uh, ceramic, uh, but 
perhaps it doesn't need to be named that. You see what the material is containing, like rubber, steel, asbestos, adhesive, cloth, cork, crystal. So I'm guessing if I get some, some of these. I might need more, you never know. This just might just be what I need. Let's hope this worked because I have looked now for a very long time. Hopefully you wouldn't have to wait this time because I most probably would have cut all that time. Wrong way. <laughs> yes, I got it. At least I think. Uh, Alright, let's put some wires on this thing. Oh. <laughs> Confusing wires, huh? Uh, let's just build one more of them. If I could figure this out. V generator build. No. Put attach wire. Go. Maxon's waiting to talk to you. And I'm not throwing the switch until he gets us the villain. Remarkable work, Knight. The signal interceptor appears to be complete. Are you ready to put it to the test? Absolutely. I'm ready to go. Your confidence is an inspiration to us all. That being said, this is the first time we've attempted to directly adapt Institute technology. When we throw that switch, we don't know exactly what's going to happen. God willing, you'll end up inside the Institute. And the mission can continue. What are the details of my mission? I'm glad you asked. Now, I want you to listen very carefully. Once you've entered the Institute, we expect to lose contact. So it's imperative you remember everything I'm about to tell you. About ten years ago, the Brotherhood began recruiting civilian scientists from the Capital Wasteland to assist with various projects. During this process, we were able to obtain the services of Dr. Madison Lee, a noted mind in the field of nuclear engineering. That's the one that left for the Institute. A nuclear engineer. Interesting. Securing useful resources during wartime is critical. That said, Dr. Lee's contributions to our cause were instrumental in maintaining order in the Capital Wasteland. After some time, she developed differences with the Brotherhood and exiled herself to the Commonwealth. We're fairly certain that her intent was to make contact with the Institute. What sort of differences? Although she was working with the Brotherhood of Steel, she never formally joined as a scribe. After the Capital Wasteland was secured, she objected to the Brotherhood's continued military presence there. I think she assumed we would just walk away from it all. She was wrong. Your mission is simple. Once you're inside the Institute, we want you to track down Dr. Lee's whereabouts. If you find out that she's still alive, make contact with her and convince her to return to the Brotherhood of Steel. There's a special project we're working on, and it needs her attention. I want to know what to do if she refuses. Nothing that would provoke a hostile response. If she refuses, you're not to press the issue. 
Remember, infiltration of the Institute is our larger goal. Listen to me, Knight. I'm well aware that you're risking your life going into the Institute blind. Just keep your mind on the mission. And don't let anything they say sway you from your duty. Good luck. <laughs> Love that picture. Well. Hope you plan on using your robot powers for good. I think I want some rest before I go into this mess. This reminds me of Nikola Tesla. 